All right, so thank you. We will now begin the Assembly of Heads of State and Government. First on the agenda is the receiving of the Executive Council report. Executive Council members, please make your way up to the placards. All right, thank you. We will now begin with the roll call. All right. So we'll begin with Angola. When you hear your delegation, please raise your placard or your hand. All right. Angola. Capo Verde. All right. Ethiopia. Kenya. Kenya. All right. Madagascar. Niger. 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 Oh, my apologies. Nigeria. Nigeria. Okay. Thank you. Niger. Sierra Leone. Thank you. Thank you. With that, our quorum is a simple majority of five and two thirds majority of six. Now, the assembly will receive the report from the Executive Council. We will ask for one of our delegates to go ahead and display this report. All right. And any delegate wishing to bring the report to the Council, please let it be known. Thank you. Yes. That is good. Um, at the chair's discretion, is your voice okay? Are you fine with reading the communique? It is rather long. Uh, good morning. Uh, the executive committee's communique, um, as reads, in recognizing the various jihadist insurgency that have increased conflict and civilian insecurity in the Sahel region, we acknowledge the present the pressing need to find find a peaceful resolution to the conflict due to the increased attack from the jihadist groups and the expansion of their insurgency activities into the West African states. The executive council calls for urgent and deliberate action in the region to restrict the territory controlled by the jihadists back, jihadist back to its position prior to the expansion into non-Sahelian West African states. As per the advice from the Committee on Peace and Security, Committee on Pan-Africanism and Continental Unity, and the Committee on Democracy, Governance and Human Rights, the Executive Council, uh, one recommends an increase in the allocation of resources to the African standby forces um, sub point A requests a thousand troops from Angola. Sub point B requests a thousand troops from Nigeria. Uh, second point, re rec we recommend the deployment of the um, African standby forces to strengthen the security of the West African coastal countries. Sub point A specifically focusing on border control to prevent the cross country travel of jihadist forces. Sub point B. Additionally, providing protection to human, humanitarian organizations operating within the Sahel. Keeping in mind the effect on civilians this conflict has created, specifically the limited access to humanitarian assistance, the increased number of displaced persons, and the environmental conditions of droughts and flooding. In conjunction, in conjunction with the advice from the Committee on Social Matters and the Committee on Economic Matters, the Executive Council calls for the, re the relocation of refugees to camps in Uganda and Kenya, specifically sub point A, Nakavele re refugee camps in Uganda, Kakuma and Dab, 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 Dab uh, refugee camps in Kenya. Sub point C, we further recommend utilizing the nonprofit organization opportunities for humanitarian assistance and training to develop substantial life skills. 
uh, calls for the funding of infrastructure reconstruction and irrigation projects as well as mobilization of humanitarian assistance funds funded through the community of Sahel Saharan states regarding the position of position that African Union takes in correspondence with France, the European Union, and the United States, the Executive Council directs all correspondents to stress the importance of regional sovereignty and discourage the pro proliferation of troops from outside the continent, calls for the European Union to allow an African Union delegation to be present, calls for France to work with an African diplomat while withdrawing troops to ensure a stable withdrawal, acknowledging that while an increase in mobilization in military forces is needed to address the expansion of jihadist insurgency in the Sahel, the Executive Council recognizes that the conflict necess necessities, no, necessitates a final resolution not through a military victory but through a peaceful negotiations. Further, the Council recognizes a need to address underlying factors that led to jihadist recruitment, acknowledging the difficult difficulty of formalizing peace agreements and the long road that is necessary for their implementation. The Executive Council calls for the government of Chad, Burkina Faso, Mali, Mauritania, and Niger to create a joint agreement on, nece on necessary conditions for negotiating, including but not limited to a an agreed upon mediator or mediation team and agreed upon location for negotiations request that jihadist group unify their under their under hierarchical power structure create agreements on necessary conditions for negotiation including but not limited to an agreed upon mediator or mediation team and agreed upon location for negotiations calls for the selection of an independent diplomatic con convoy to increase communication between the jihadist groups and affected governments, recognizing the role that instability plays in the promotion of extreme, extremism. The Executive Council calls for the creation of transparent electoral committees in the, mil in the military regimes of Chad, Burkina Faso, and Mali to facilitate a return to civilian government. Establishing regular, transparent, comprehensive, and gender responsive labor, migration policies, legislation. That's, oh, oh, my bad. I'm sorry, y'all. That's it. All right. Thank you for the report, Executive Council. The Assembly will now recognize the Committee on Social Matters. The Assembly will first recognize Resolution 1 from the Assembly on Social Matters. We will provide you a one-minute reading time. Uh, yes, um, we cannot read your country. Could you uh, go ahead and be recognized? Yes. All right, so for the resolutions, they do not have to be written. The only reason that the Executive Council report is read out loud is due to it being a crisis, and the um, reading is to let us resolve the crisis and everyone know what the resolution was decided upon. So for this one, it's just a reading time, um, as it is given. All right, that reading time has elapsed. Hopefully that reading time was fruitful. We will now ask, is there any unreadiness to begin on this resolution? Seeing no unreadiness, we will move immediately into a placard vote. All those in favor of this resolution, please raise your placards now. As this is unanimous, this resolution clearly passes. Understood. At the order of home government, we will go ahead and instead recognize the Committee on Democracy, Governance, and Human Rights. Our apologies for that mishap. And we will now give a one-minute reading time for the Resolution 1 from the Committee on Democracy, Governance, and Human Rights. Thank you. The reading time has elapsed. Hopefully it was fruitful. The chair will now ask, is there any unreadiness to act upon this resolution? Seeing none, we will move immediately into a placard vote. All those in favor of Resolution 1 for Democracy, Governance, and Human Rights, please raise your placards now. This is unanimous. This resolution clearly passes. <laughs> All 
All right. The chair notices that a new delegation has joined the front of the assembly. Could you please identify yourself and then mark if you are present? Thank you. We will now give a moment to recalculate quorum. Due to this being a dual delegation, this means that our quorum is the same with a simple majority of five and a two-thirds majority of six. All right. Next, the chair will recognize the Committee on Peace and Security. Resolution 1 will be recognized. At the chair's discretion, you all have a one-minute reading time for this resolution. Thank you. The reading time has elapsed. Hopefully that was fruitful. With this, the chair will now ask, is there any unreadiness to act on this resolution? Seeing none, we'll move immediately into a placard vote. All those in favor of Resolution 1 from the Peace and Security Council, please raise your placards. This is unanimous, so this clearly passes. We will now recognize the Committee on Pan-Africanism and Continental Unity. We are recognizing Resolution 1. You will have one minute reading time for this resolution. Thank you. The timing of that reading time has elapsed. Hopefully it was fruitful. The chair now asks, is there any unreadiness to act upon this resolution? Seeing none, we will move into an immediate placard vote. All those in favor of this resolution, please raise your placards now. All right. Seeing as this unanimous, this clearly passes. All right, the chair will now recognize the Economic Matters Committee. We are recognizing Resolution 1. You will have a one-minute reading time. All right, thank you for that. The reading time has elapsed. Hopefully it was fruitful. With this, the chair will now ask, is there any unreadiness to act upon this resolution? Seeing none, we will move into an immediate placard vote. All of those in favor of this resolution, please raise your placards now. As this is unanimous, this clearly passes. All right. Thank you, delegates. All of our first resolutions for all committees have passed. Let's get another round of applause. We'll now move into the second resolutions for the additional committees. With this, the Committee on Social Matters will be recognized again for their resolution two. You will have one minute reading time for this resolution. Thank you. The reading time has elapsed. Hopefully it was fruitful. With this, the chair now asks, is there any unreadiness to act upon this resolution? Seeing none, we will now move into voting procedures via placard vote. All those in favor of this resolution, please raise your pockets now. Thank you. As this is unanimous, this clearly passes. Thank you. We will now recognize again the Committee on Peace and Security. And Resolution 2 will be the one next on the docket. You will have a one-minute reading time for this resolution. Thank you. The reading time has elapsed. Hopefully it was fruitful. With this, the chair will now ask, is there any unreadiness to act upon this resolution? Seeing none, we will move immediately into voting procedures. All those in favor of this resolution, please raise your placards now. As this is unanimous, this clearly passes. Thank you, delegates. You have passed every resolution that was permitted to the assembly. Thank you. All right. With this, the chair will look favorably upon our motion to close debate and end the session until next year. All right. Kenya, you are recognized.
Thank you. All right. We have a motion from Kenya to end debate. Seeing no other motions on the floor, we'll ask, are there any seconds? All right. Seeing seconds, we'll now move into voting. All those in favor of ending debate, please raise your placards now. All right. As this is unanimous, this motion clearly passes, and debate is suspended until next year. Thank you, delegates. You are now excused back to your seats. All right. The chair is just letting the, everyone know in the committee we're going on a brief bake, break. Our apologies. And uh, ASU will let us know when it is time for us to come back. Cool. Thank you all. Uh, we have awards here for our past directors, but several of them have retired. Some are not here today, so we will not go through this list here. Uh, but this is extremely important that we recognize past directors who have worked to make this SEMA what it is today. Uh, we are celebrating the 25th anniversary today, so we've been doing this for 25 years. And these are directors who have hosted SEMA on their campuses across the state of Georgia. So please, let's give all of them a round of applause. Uh, let's give ASU a huge round of applause. This has been a fantastic experience for all of us. Thank you so much for all the work you put into this. We have hosted this twice at Kennesaw State, and I know exactly what it takes. We all who have hosted this somehow, we know exactly what it takes. Uh, sometimes, you know, things happen that you don't anticipate, but you go with it. We go with what you have. So, please, another round of applause for this group here at ASU. Okay. Thank you so, so very much for hosting us, for your very generous Southern hospitality. We appreciate it. I'm going to hand it back to the chair of uh, Georgia um, USG Africa Council, Dr. Charles Mba, and thank you to my colleagues for helping to give out these awards. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, may I begin? by asking all of us to rise up, please. Uh, yes, uh, let me give my special thanks to Dr. Akiyemi for such a wonderful presentation for the world, as well as uh, Dr. Kati uh, Skimahas for supporting him. Um, I ask you to rise, even though we have uh, applause for ASU, but I, I think we need to do it another time in a special way. Please let us give them a rising round of applause, please. Thank you, thank you. I will probably make my remark very brief. Um, as Dr. Kiyemi says, it takes a lot to do this program. It's not an easy proposition, okay? Uh, but the African Council is up to the task, and that's why we have done it for 25 years, and the only council that have done such a an uh, initiative for such a program in the entire university system of Georgia. So we are up to the task. So we thank you for, for being part of this program. Uh, let me very quickly 
uh, once again thank the ASU all the way from the president of the university to the students, the, the faculty directors, Dr. Uh, Osakwe and, and Dr. Gibson and uh, the chairs, Dr. Lenhard, uh, uh, Ashanti Hunter, and all the rest for putting this program together and giving us a spectacular program and conference. So please, we'll thank them so very much. <laughs> we also must thank the mayor and the commissioners, Mayor Bodorin, uh, Commissioner uh, Wembeton and Commissioner uh, Howard and the rest of the commissioners, the entire uh, Albany uh, City Council and the Albany community for giving us, as Dr. Akinyemi said, a wonderful Southern hospitality. So we thank them so very much. The faculty advisors, I cannot begin to thank you because I don't know where to start. Okay, we appreciate each and every one of you. As I said in my opening remarks, you are one of the best in the university system of Georgia. There's no question about that. And you, you have shown that and, and you continue to show that. So we appreciate you and uh, you continue to do what you do best. So, so Let's give them a round of applause. Please. But the student, you probably are the, the most distinguished, the most outstanding, and as I said in my opening remarks, you are the center of the gravity. This conference is your conference, and you have proved yourself you know, each and every one of you, you folks are all distinguished, okay? Even though we we'll, we'll have to give an award to few individuals, but you folks are all award-wanting uh, uh, participants. So please give yourself a round of applause. Thank you. Yes. But let me also ask you, as, you, as we have said, this has been 25 years in the going. Next year is going to be Kennesaw State University. We are looking forward for you to join us at Kennesaw State University. Okay? So please work on that and try to, uh, to, to talk to your faculty advisors and start going, start preparing for that. Okay? So we look forward to seeing you at Kennesaw State University. Okay? I think on that note, I don't want to keep going. Uh, um, I'm really pleased and honored to, to be the chair of the University System African Council, and I, can, I cannot ask of a better honor. Uh, so thank you very much for, for making me shine as your chair. So I appreciate each and every one of you. And on that note, I will call on uh, Dr. Osakwe uh, to come and give uh, her closing remarks. Thank you, and God bless each and every one of you. Good afternoon, everyone. This is the climax of the event, and we want to say a big Thank you to all of you. Without the students, there wouldn't be this location. Without the faculty advisors, we wouldn't have the knowledge to pass on to the students. And without the guests, without the honorable mayor, without the, all the chairs and deans, we would not have met, had the funding to make this happen. 
So it's an entire collaborative effort, everybody putting together to make this work. And we truly, truly appreciate all of you. We appreciate the MassCom department, um, the marketing and communication department. We also appreciate the telecom department, uh, Ms. Connie Williams right here. She's a professor in mass communication. She has been following us around right from the West Campus to here. We truly appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much. And our photographer is not here. He has been someone, too, that's been all over around with us. And we truly, truly appreciate the effort that everybody has put in to uh, make this possible. To our special committee, please, I know a number of you are here. Please, could you stand up to be recognized the Semau Internationalization Committee? All of you that are here, can you please stand? I know that. <laughs> Thank you all so much. You will not even believe it, but these individuals you see here, we are meeting every two weeks since spring semester to make this happen. We have not done this before. So if there were errors, well, that error is part of growth. Um, but they consistently were at the meeting, planning and putting energy about how to make this success. And you can see them all here today. And I want to acknowledge, in particular, uh, Professor Hunter, can you please stand? <laughs> Uh, Professor Hunter is this year's Director's Semal Service Award winner for ASU campus. And I please give her a round of applause. <laughs> and I can tell you, she did all the reservations, all the certificates that you have, she did the typing. She did all the IT reservations, making sure that all our systems are in place for us to have the academic conference. All the posters you see on the doors, she is the one that did that. And she just came in to ASU. So she is an example and a model that we are also projecting. What we are looking that many of you will be She's still working on her PhD. She jumped into ASU, and she took it running. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I also want to acknowledge an awesome gentleman, Dr. Ronald Rensford. <laughs> Dr. Ronald Yonhard came in newly. And immediately we talked about this. He keyed in straight away. He was there at every meeting suggesting. He immediately led the first IMAO that we had virtually advising the students Always there, yeah, he set up all our online virtual portals for SEMAL, for IMAL, all the documentations. We have it electronically now. And he made sure with all the meetings one-on-one -on -one with students, apparently, too, he is a Gilman study abroad <laughs> advisor. So um, just because we want one award doesn't mean 
that he doesn't deserve an award. So we're saying this to see, to, to tell you all young ones, he just came in, just finished his PhD, came in here running. He is the one taking, driving all of you around, back and forth the hotel, making sure that you have everything in place. And anytime you say, I need somebody to see, I'm, I'm going to do it. And he does it. So please, one more round of applause for him. There are so many people to thank. The students, you are the most awesome. In, you, it took us very short time to get out of you interested. I have two students in my class. Can you please stand? We are all individual souls and unique. And we are never, you can never to see two people like you. When I talked about this in class, they took a chance. They weren't sure of what they were going to see. These are freshman students. But they kicked in and kept moving. Please, a big round of applause for Thank you so much, Mohammed and Yameria. We are so proud of you. And the rest of the students from ASU, please, can you stand? You remember what we said at ASU? Excellence is what? It's the standard. You stand for excellence, and you've shown it. Through your performance in this semal, so many of you are coming in for the first time, but you, it's an astute performance, and we are so proud of you. Thank you all so much. <laughs> and to the rest of the students, can you please stand from all the universities? Because if you did not come here, we wouldn't have any session. Please, to be all please. <laughs> Every one of you that is here today, you are a unique leader. It takes discipline to do what you have done, and you stayed till the end. There are other things that could have been done, but you said, no, this is the first. So we are so proud of you. Thank you so much, my colleagues, for being here for staying till the end, for supporting. For 25 years, some of you have been doing this. And this is the first time we are directing, but you see how we are almost like falling all over. But you stood by us, trying to guide and make sure that does, nothing does, falls completely you know, apart. And that is the support that we give one another. And that is how we grow. Thank you all so much for everything. And I, I wish to thank my friend, Connie Williams, for, for always standing by international education at ASU, internationalization and global engagement. We are truly happy. And we want to say a big thank you to our executive woman, the president of ASU, Mariam Ross Frederick. Can we all give her a And we want to say a big thank you to our provost, the vice president for academic affairs, Dr. Angela Peters. She would have been here in person, but for other commitments. We truly, truly appreciate her. And the other deans, vice presidents, all the deans that contributed equally to make this a wonderful, wonderful conference, making sure that you all have fun as you are engaging scholarly. Thank you all so much. I truly appreciate the opportunity to help to direct uh, this conference. Thank you.
Hello, delegates. How are you guys doing? Good. Hello, delegates. How are you guys doing? Good. Great. So, yeah, I wouldn't say that this is my first MUN. I've I've did a couple of MUNs before, but this was one of the experiences that I've never had because African Union is completely different. It's like something that I've never learned. So thank you all for joining here, and thank you for giving me different experiences, and I've, lo I've learned a lot. Thank you, guys. Good afternoon, everyone. Just a brief statement. Um, given that this is a lot of people's first time and a lot of people had last-minute notices, I would like to say, given what I've seen over the week, and it was my first CMAO I did, IMAO last semester, y'all really did y'all's jobs between the research and, you know, procedure may have been a little difficult for newcomers, but besides that, y'all know what needed to be done and y'all got it done to y'all best ability. Everyone truly and honestly, everyone did their best job. And that's all I would like to say. And I thank you for coming to Albany State to allowing us to host this because we pride ourselves on excellence. We're not, the, we're not perfect, but excellence is our standard and that's what we achieve. And y'all are honorary rams today. You go put that on y'all. But thank y'all. Thank you all so much. So with this, we are finally bringing the SEMAO 2022 to a close. And I wish to adjourn at this time. So I'll see you all at Kennesaw in 2022, 2023. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>